Hi, welcome back. I'm going to be working on the 50 s'mores today. I'm getting a head start on the interior. I actually ripped everything out of there. And it is, it's a gruesome, gruesome scene, as you can see right here. Uh, basically starting all over from, you know, reorganizing the wiring. I got a new vintage air system that's going in there. And then also the digital, sorry, the Dakota Digital RTX gauge cluster that's going in there. I think it looks, oh, oh, actually, let me grab it. See? So this is such a fancy, fancy piece. I am super excited to be staring at that for all my vitals, and it's got this screen that can display so much. I also got cruise control that I have to hook up for it, um, and a bunch of other little things that I'm just really excited to change because, you know, you drive the car for so long, you're like, oh, I change this, I change this. Well, I'm just jumping on that. I just want to make it the way I want it to be for these road trips and things that I plan, plan for this car because I just, I drive the crap out of it. So why not make it completely user-friendly? And that's what I'm doing. I actually got a head start on doing some of it, um, especially the center because I'm doing a, like a waterfall center console. And that's kind of what I'm going to be working on in this one is trying to build that structure to make everything, to make the panels that attach to it. I have a pretty good game plan, but I mean, obviously that's probably gonna change once I start going after it because that's just the way these things go. I've also got a, is it a, hold on, what is it? Yeah, it's a Kenwood. So that guy's going right in the center. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, I hate it when people put like a doubled in in a vintage dash. Well, guess what? It's not. This is the look we're going for. And these are so much nicer. I had a Bluetooth stereo system in the car before that just went off my phone. And it was okay. But like Apple CarPlay, you know, this is pretty sweet. So I'm replacing the grill that's in the center. Um, I've already got the panel right here made up for it. So this is kind of what I've been building off of in order to make the center console because it's all going to flow into one that's my plan that's my goal we'll see if it all works out i hope it all works out um if not i'll just figure it out until it does work it's the way i roll so yeah let me um show you kind of what i'm working with and how i'm going to build the structure we'll go from there we'll just make it up as we go so far what i have done is obviously ripped everything out of here that was kind of in my way um the ac unit's gone the old ac unit's gone I've got the new one in there. I'm running um, the Vintage Air Series 2 uh, Mini Compact up in there. I actually had to cut a little section of the dash out to shove that up in there. Then I built some custom brackets, but that thing, you know, it's nice and solid in there. I'll put some padding around it when I uh, final mount it in order to keep like rattles and stuff from not happening. But I like the placement of it there because it's got two bottom vents. That thing is right in the center as you can see so i think it's going to work great for like the floor heat and the center console when i build it the side panels i want to put like two vents uh, or open areas here kind of like the speaker grills like in it and then that will kind of match nicely because those will be wrapped in the same leather because i got a bunch of that hide left over and then the center console as you saw like i started on it so the double den will go there and it kind of bends out and then it works its way down here and I want to tie it into the shifter. But the one thing I don't like about the shifter right now is how much of an angle this is at. Um, I need to kind of pick the back end of it up a little bit more. And then I'm ditching the cover that was on there before and then baking my own like aluminum trim plate, I guess, that will like sandwich around it. But in order to do that, I need to, like I said, tip that up a little bit. Then this will all get kind of like the, the paint colors will change and stuff too to match everything because i am going to uh, redo the dash i had and i'm an idiot i had a phone mount right there and i took it off and i had that sticky stuff on there and what i used to get the sticky stuff off like wrecked the paint so i mean that's just spray paint um kind of saw that coming plus i didn't really like the job that i did on there so i'm going to smooth this all out really good and i'm going to vinyl wrap the top and then the bottom i'm going to two-tone it but I have some some colors coming just to test the samples because I want it to match. I want to bring more of the outside in and I want it to match, you know, the wheels that we just painted. 
So if it's close to that bronze color, it's going to look awesome because I also have another steering wheel coming that matches the same profile as the spoke to the wheels. So that's going to tie all that in. And I'd like to paint that as well, that same bronze color. So it's all in my head. This all makes sense. And it's going to it's going to flow nicely. And then, you know, we'll, we'll add some bronze in there and some other places like that. So um, I'm rambling, but that's my that's my plan. But I need to make a structure, like I said before, for the center console. And, um, you know, I just need to tie in to the bottom of the dash for structure. And then I want it to weld it into or somehow tie it into this piece because it's super sturdy there. And then just kind of flow back to where it stops to these brackets here where it will tie in. And that's what I'm going to get going on um, in order to do that. I'm going to make it out of steel. So I got this round stock that I think I can like bend up. Um, it's like quarter inch thick. And in order to get it to flow with everything correctly. And then I've got some tabs. I don't even know what these are from, but I ordered these a long time ago. But I think I can use to like weld onto here in order for the panels to attach to. And then some metal strap wherever that needs to go for everything else to tie into actual structure. Stuff like that. So... What I'm going to get going on right now is just kind of mocking it all up, like trying to figure out how to bend these guys with a little bit of fire and a vise in order to get the, the shape that I need and then build off from there. Got the shifter mount out. First thing I got to modify in order to kind of like tie everything in. So this needs to be raised up about an inch. Plan is just kind of strip this thing down, take these nuts out. I'll redo those because they're kind of in my way right now. And then just take a piece of one inch strap and we'll add it to that guy there to raise it up another inch, you know, make a, a slight cut there. So it'll kind of tip up a little bit easier and that should be good to go from there. Um, so let me knock that out quick a second, put it back in. We'll go from there. Fairly simple modification. Obviously this all needs to be like finished welded up and then trimmed to fit. I left a little bit of extra on there where that, the one inch space needed to be made in order to kind of like weld that and then trim it all up. Also made like a slight, slight incision right there. So this could now bend, fit back to this piece here and also bring that top down a little bit. But now it's a lot, it's a lot more level. So that's going to be nice in order to make um, a bezel around the shifter. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and finish well this thing up yet because there's probably some pieces I'd have to add onto this that the center console will bolt to. So I'll determine that once I get... Uh, the rod mocked up in order to see where it all is going to land. So let me bolt this guy back in. We'll get going on the, the skeleton structure of the center console. Okay. Ooh, mad scientist hair. I like it. So I got some stuff done. Let me show you how I went about doing it. And I knew that plans would change along the way. So that's kind of what happened. Um, to build this. Well, here, let me turn the camera around. Don't forget. So this is what I have thus far. You can see it. So I got the shifter mounted back in with a modified bracket. So it's a lot more level with itself. And then I built this structure here on a quarter inch, you know, round stock. You can pick it up at any hardware store. It bends super easily. And I first made like a template out of some um, welding rod in order to get all my bends correct and where I wanted them and stuff like that. And it actually worked out really, really well. In order to bend that stuff i just took like my map torch kind of heated it up put it in a vise and took a wrench to it um and just, just put the bend in where i wanted it to and then i mashed it up to this guy here and it all turned out really good so this is two separate pieces um it bolts underneath the dash here both sides and then it comes down and then it's got extension rods down there to those brackets and this is welded together and then i made a cut right in the middle of how wide i wanted this to be after the 90, and that's all welded together. It is a little bit flimsy right now, but I'm gonna solve that right now. I'm gonna fix it all. I'm gonna make a bracket off of this side of the shifter and then put another thicker rod that kind of comes up into the center here and then use more of this quarter stock to kind of come out and across. And I'm not gonna use that panel anymore. I'm ditching that guy. I think that uh, where the doubled in needs to be, this piece can just kind of come straight down 
and I'll build some brackets off there. So it'll bolt here, bolt here, hold the double in, doubled it in just fine. And then this will be another piece. And then this bottom will be another piece that'll come all the way across here. And then I also have, which is not in here, a center console lid. Let me grab it in a second. I have this guy. So this is, honestly, it was so cheap on eBay, I think. But it's nice and thin. Got a nice black vinyl on it, which matches the exact same vinyl that I'm going to use to wrap all of this. And if this wasn't that, I'd, I'd rewrap it anyway. Um, it's a little too shiny for me, so I might kind of dull that out with some matte spray. But I'll make brackets, and that will bolt right to there on top of it. And then I'll have an armrest with a little bit of storage in there. And then in between the seats, it'll be kind of hidden. You won't really see it. Um, and then these panels here will be leather on the side. I think I kind of want, because I just got a dimple die set, right? So I kind of want to play with it. And this needs structure in here. So I may take some sheet metal and build like something that kind of comes up and across here a little bit. and kind of ends right where this curve is. Put some dimple dies in it. It'll be just above the seat bolster. So you can kind of see it with a black background. And then it'll be painted um, either the bronze color or maybe green. Probably not green. But black, I don't know. I got to play with the colors on um, what everything needs to be. So that'll be, I think that'll be really cool. That's what I'm going to get working on. So let me, um, yeah, let me build, let me build some structure in here off of here to uh, help keep this from all wiggling around and put a few braces in here because this needs to be bolted to it somehow like that. So I'll get to that and I'll, I'll, I'll fill you in when I'm that far. Got all my braces in. It's actually really sturdy. I like it a lot. I use a little bit thicker stuff down here just because, well, ran out of this stuff. So it's a tiny bit thicker, but I mean, that's not going anywhere. Um, and I made a little tab off of the shifter mount that bolts up to there. And then these are all welded to that. This is all, all tack welded. I got to take this whole thing out, finish weld this thing up. Um, so five bolts, one, two, three, four, five, and this thing whole thing can come out and I like this now because all I have to do is make some paper templates and then transfer that over to ABS and then those are my skins so once I pull this guy out I'll finish weld this thing up and then I'll work on that uh, but right now I'm gonna go in because it's it's late at night and I'm cold and I'm hungry and I'll pick this back up tomorrow new day back at it got the skeleton of it out I went ahead and I finished welded all the joints all the way around everywhere and it kind of warps on you a little bit so just kind of tweak it as you go to make sure that it's nice and level like you had it planned from the beginning i also added these strips in here it adds structure and also it's just a little bit inset laid because that's where i'm going to use this industrial strength velcro like here strip there strip there a little bit around here and then another strip up top here but i got to figure out because a little bit of wiggle room right there um, kind of where this brace needs to be because it needs to both mount um, the top filler panel where the double din is, then also the bottom panel. So I got to kind of basically play that or put that in the car and then kind of mock it up from there. Um, but right now, also I'm working on is the center console piece. So I want I, it needs obviously a nice strong structure to mount to, and that's what that plate is there. For. And in order to get those marks there, I took the base that this thing came with um, and I just laid it on top of there. A little bit of spray paint after lining it up, eyeballing it, which means it's probably stupid crooked. And then, you know, hit it with my punch. I'm going to drill those out and that'll give me a nice solid mounting point for that guy there. So I'm going to drill this out, put it back in the car, figure out where that needs to be. And then we can go ahead and start building skins for this thing. So I think I'm done with the main structure of this thing. It's all welded together now. Um, I don't remember what I said last because I've just been like thinking about it and grinding on it and um, figuratively and literally. So I got these little tabs here all welded on there. So that's what the side panels will mount to. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to screw those to it because it's going to be made out of the leather. Use the same screws that are on the door panel. Kind of get that flow to keep going. Um, or use, you know, the industrial strength Velcro, um, added this little brace up here so that, you know, the, the panel can attach to that. 
And then these little tabs here for the um, doubled in to mount to. So that'll be the mount. So it'll be the dash and then that. So I like this a lot. It's all cleaned up. Um, it's very surprisingly good. Like I, sometimes, like I surprise myself to be honest with you with uh, how well this turned out. So if you just just tackle it, if you have an idea in your head, the worst you can do is what screw it up, and you don't fail unless you give up. So just keep going until you actually finish it and get it to where you want it to be. Um, I mean, I'm no professional TIG welder by any means, but it's so fun to play with. And this this turned out awesome. So now, yeah, okay. Stop gloating over. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to throw this thing in. Um, and let's get going on the skin, the main panel piece here that needs to be made. Got to make the skin, like I said, for the center console. I'm going to make it outside of the car because this isn't going anywhere the way I held this welded up and all the braces and stuff like that. So I'm pretty sure... It's going to be a safe bet in order to make it here on the bench. I'm going to be using some quarter inch thick. Is this eighth inch thick? It looks like eighth inch. Eighth inch thick. Uh, ABS plastic. I picked it up on eBay. Just look for it. Um, 48 by 24. Should be plenty. Um, the way I'm going to go about it in my head that makes the most sense is I'll cut a strip out of here roughly the width. Of this leave a little extra on here for trimming reasons so once I got that cut I'll use some clamps I'll clamp it to this thing and I'll use my heat gun because I need to contour to it up the front here this is all flat here but I got to make sure I nail this curve right here so it sits in there exactly the way it's supposed to sit in there and then I'll clamp that let it cool down I'll mark out all on the bottom side the back side of where it's kind of overhanging and we'll trim it up from there, and that should give me a perfect cover for the top of the center console. So let me get to it. I'm gonna cut this up, and then we'll uh, we'll heat that guy up and clamp it. And I'll kind of show you in real time how it works. It's really simple, like regular heat gun. Be careful with it, and it'll just contour to whatever shape you want it to, within reason. Oh, and to cut ABS plastic, there's a couple ways you can go about it. Uh, you can use a razor blade with a straight edge. That'll give you just keep keep going at it, and then you can kind of break it. Or I'm using a skill saw uh, with a like a multi-purpose. Is it fine? Fine cut bit. And if you use tape, if you cut through the tape, it'll keep it cool. Sometimes you'll get like a plastic slag if you don't use a tape. But also that'll give me a nice clean mark uh, on where you can cut. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna lay a tape line down and cut along that tape line with this guy. Trims up nice. <laughs> perfect if i do say so myself um it does have a little bit of spring back on it right now but i mean there's nothing that the velcro can't handle i mean there's light pressure and that's going to sit there but it curves nicely to it and as you saw i just i clamped it to the the piece and then i went around with an angle grinder with a, a flapper disc on there and i slowly just kind of like i let it work it until you hit metal you see sparks you'll feel it you'll see it perfect edge all the way around contoured to this piece so it's a good way to go about it. Um, I'm going to trim up these, clean up these edges here with a razor blade and just kind of scrape along there. And then um, start laying everything out. I don't really know how this is going to go here because the other panel um, for the double din is going to come down right there. So I'll figure that out when we come to that. But um, I got to lay out my window switches and my AC unit thing there, shifter, cup holders. A couple of buttons and also the rear got to cut it out for the um armrest thing so uh yeah also that made a, a huge mess and even though i was wearing eye protection should have probably been wearing a respirator as well but like i still got a little chunk of something in my eye there and that was wasn't fun to get out but um i can blink i can see it's fine 
So yeah, well, I'm gonna, I need to throw this thing in, start making marks on where the shifter is. I'll start there and then I'll start laying everything else out, cut everything else out, and then I'll show you the final result on that. So I'm pretty sure I got this top panel piece done where I like it. Uh, this stuff is a little bit thin, a little too flimsy. So I thought, let's put kind of a metal backer for all the switches and stuff to stiffen all this up. So I just took some scrap aluminum. Um, I don't know how thick is that? Whatever the thickness that is, eighth inch, whatever, and cut it out and made all my switches and everything work. So these are my power window switches. And these are just some stainless steel U-bolts with nuts on both ends, kind of as like guards. I think that looks pretty cool. And then these buttons are for the heated seats. And then also the vintage air stuff, obviously. And then it's all held in by these M5 bolts and washers. And once this is all, you know, wrapped in vinyl, I think it's going to look really good. Plus, I didn't want the black on black. So this would have just been mounted on the vinyl. And I think it would have been lost a little bit. So I think that a little bit of, little bit of shininess and depth to it actually makes it pop a lot more. I really, really like it. I got my holes cut out here for the cup holders, also the shifter. And then these holes are drilled out here for the uh, center console, the armrest piece. And they actually protrude a little bit, if you can see that. So that actually snaps in place and then screws in through that metal piece that I have there. And it kind of locks everything in place as well. Also, I'm gonna be adding a bunch of Velcro to this thing in order to keep it nice and tight and vibration free because you know it gives it a little bit of padding so it's not like plastic on metal and some weird noises and then this one here is the auto manual mode uh to tell the terminator like hey i want full control over the transmission or you have control of the transmission just a simple input there and i think that's it so yeah let's um let's throw this guy in and i'll show you what that looks like so this thing is really simple to um uh, take in and out which i like a lot so there's a little bit of a lip on the top side of this thing here snaps into place underneath um the double din panel bam comes down and grab I'm just gonna put two screws in it for right now just to hold it. I can't find the hole. Common problem. <sighs> there we go. And then cup holders. Oh yeah, stainless steel cup holders. Slide right in. And then I bent up. So these guys here and actually mount underneath the cup holders and then hold that nice and tight. Can you see that kind of maybe? So that'll hold that nice and tight against it once it's in there. And then boom, slap the side panels on and you're done. So this is, this is pretty cool. I like this a lot. It fits really good. And I think that's where I'm going to end this. Here's another little thing I think I'd share with you guys. So the center console piece, there was spaces here, right? Well, now look, it's one piece. How did I do that? Well, first I made a template out of some paper and then I transferred that over to the same plastic material and then I put it on there and I attached it using just some basic super glue and a kicker. And that actually like chemically burns it to it and it is super sturdy. And then I went ahead and I took my little... Um, belt sander handheld belt sander and i sanded down the corners made all the edges nice and smooth and i left a little bit of a gap for the material because this is all going to get wrapped in a, a black vinyl it turned out freaking awesome yeah and i scuffed it all up i got to do that to all this so that the, the glue will actually adhere to it because it won't to the shininess side of it so you got to hit it with like some 400 grit so i got to go ahead and do that yet too but I just wanted to get this little top piece knocked out because the, the the gaps in this side were bugging the crap out of me. And obviously you got to close all that up, but this looks awesome.
there we go, you guys. This is where I'm going to call it for this one because I have a lot more like wiring to do, especially with all these switches, like make up all the wires before I can make my side panels and stuff like that. Because in order to make the side panels, I got to put the carpet back over, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so that's what I'm going to get working on. Just in the background, just wiring. Nobody cares about that. So I'm going to knock that out on my own. But the next thing I am going to show you is me wrapping the dash. So I'm going to wrap it in a satin black because I actually kind of ruined the paint job on it. Plus, I didn't really like the way it kind of came out when I painted it to begin with. I think if I smooth this guy out a little bit more, then hit it with a satin black on top. And then I have a bronzy gold, well, not brown, a bronzy brown metallic matte wrap that matches the wheels that I just painted really, really well. I think that's going to help tie it in. Plus, this the brown leathers on the door panels and stuff here. And a few other pieces need to be wrapped that as well. So that's probably going to be the next one. But for now, like I'm, I'm excited about that center console. I think it looks way better than what I had in there before. A lot more user friendly, a lot cleaner, a lot more professional than just a bunch of uh, angle aluminum that was <laughs> riveted together. So you guys made it this far in the video. Really appreciate it. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Got a lot more coming up. Thanks, guys.